So what is pass-through and what is mixed reality? I'm gonna explain it in pretty simple terms. So pass-through is like a movie, you know when we shoot green screens and blue screens? And later on in editing, we take out those green colors and we put it as CGI effects in the back. So that's what we're basically doing in VR here. So how pass-through works is we take those green or blue colors in the back and we change it to your pass-through camera. So whatever is green will turn into your camera that's facing out. So basically mixed reality is taking that camera and whatever you see from the outside is putting it back into the screen and mapping it out for you. So it's really interesting technology really. Some people have been doing some really interesting things with this. So there's a YouTuber called Virtually Real who made a CAD image of his steering wheel so that he can see it in a pass-through mode. So this is how you set up pass-through on virtual desktop. First thing you want to do is click on the menu button while you're in desktop mode to bring up the VD menu. Once you're in here, go down to streaming and here you can see all the settings. So as of now, as of this video, you can only do this at a maximum of high quality and 90 FPS, but I'm sure this will change in the future. And you have to turn off super game resolution mode. So go down to VR pass through and you can see the toggle to enable it and disable it. If you click on configure, you can change all the settings here. So you can pick any color you like to be the pass-through color. But these are the four recommended colors, white, black, green, and blue. Again, you can change it to whatever color you like. So once you pick your color, you can change the settings. You can see there are two settings here, similarity and smoothness. This is how it looks like with the ideal settings for me. So for similarity, it is how much color you want it to pass through. So if you put it at 100%, that means all the color will pass through. And you put, if you put it at 0%, that means it's 0% similar to what you want to see. For smoothness, it's how smooth and transparent the object's going to be, plus the edges. So if you put it at 0%, everything is crisp, but extra sharp. If you look at the edges here, that you can see the lines between the blue color. So for me, ideally, I put stuff at about 20 and 10%. But again, this is up to you. You want to tweak it to however you like and change it to your preference. So for some games, you can adjust the color and the opacity of the background. And this is how you change the path through color. Every game is different though. So the goal to make this work with any game is you have to change the background of the game to a path through color, which is in this case green or blue. And as long as you can do that, you can basically do pass-through mixed reality with any PC VR game. So for example, I'll be using VR chat here. So there's a world that's completely green. I'll upload this in the link to where you can get to this world. So you want to match the color to where the green is. For me, the settings are about at 22% and 3%. Again, this is up to you. You choose how, how much opacity you like and how transparent you want it to be. It's completely up to you to make it as clean or as uh, dirty as you want. This is Blade & Sorcery. I'm using a green screen world also. I'll attach this in the link in the description. So basically the whole world is green. And this is Pistol Whip. I'm picking a map that's completely white. So this is interesting because you can see it's a bit trippy and the colors keep changing. And I quite like the aesthetic of it playing my living room with this.
for bone lab I'm using like a void um, map so you can it looks a bit trippy uh, but it's quite interesting to play like this so bone lab is a bit uh, difficult to get it working but if you pick a map that's completely black or blue or green you can get away with it Same thing for Synth Riders. I picked a map that's completely black. It's called The Void. I'll add it in the description if you want to download it. 